Hey everybody, this is Brian Buffington, and this is a special Buff Nugget live at the hotel. Sometimes I get inspiration in random places, and nothing says fancy like a riverboat painting above your bed. I mean, mm, sweet dreams of a riverboat. So I'm talking about Flipgrid's shorts today. No, I'm not talking about pants that are cut off at the thigh. I'm talking about short videos. This is a brand new feature. It's been out like two or three weeks, which is still pretty brand new. But in the world that we live in, actually, it's probably old by now, two or three weeks. Wow, goodness. But anyways, teachers can now use Flipgrid's embedded video creation tool, not for not just for class conversation, but making quick little instructional videos. I'm going to show you how it works. It's pretty awesome. You know I'm a big proponent of video. We do. I do a lot of screencasting like I'm doing right now. But this has like a different purpose. It has some different tools that you might really like. So let's let's get in. Let's get in. So I'm a big proponent of making things easy for teachers. OK, so you having four different programs to make instructional videos that's probably just a little too much. OK, um, unless you're just really into that kind of stuff. So let's get the party started. So now in the admin section, if you're an admin, you're logged into Flipgrid. You have shorts up here in the top right. This is not in beta. This is just here. If you click in shorts, I've already made one day because I had to test it out. And it looks like you actually get stats too. I just noticed there's zero stats for my first one, my very first one. If you create, if you click record a short, and let's see if it'll let me do my camera twice, it's probably gonna freak it out. Whoa, it is like so freaked out because I'm doing two different things at once. Just bear with me here. Okay, so this is what you see as a teacher, and you have some tools. You have all the same kind of stickers, uh, filters. You're like, man, I gotta get that filter. You know, I gotta get that nice tone like that. And you need some text. You put the text on there. Um, you know, it's like for real, whatever the lesson's about. So this is about the teacher making instructional videos, not not just like discussion videos, like in a traditional Flipgrid sense. So students don't have access to make these. This is a very teacher only thing right now. And so you'll you'll have the stickers. You know, you've seen the emojis. You could you know put glasses on you because nothing says I'm serious about education like unicorn glasses. That's cool. All right, I'm taking those off. Undo. And you have drawing tools. White, I like the whiteboard. Okay. So let's get to the whiteboard for a second. You click on whiteboard and you click uh, right here. You got blackboard or whiteboard. I've got an old school blackboard. And then you can go to, I like the white ink. I think they start you with the red ink. And I'm just like, no, there it is. Look at that. And don't any, don't let anyone ever tell you this is fun with a mouse. You're like I could do some math. No, uh, this with a mouse or a trackpad, not fun. You're not going to convince any math teacher that that's awesome. This deserves a trackpad. What I mean is a drawing tablet, not a trackpad, a drawing tablet. I just order one because I'm really big into this. I've done this before, but I wanted to I actually wanted to try a $20 one because I know teachers trying to save money. I, I'm, I just bought a $20 one. It's coming my way. I'm going I'm to debut this because I really think Brian's making projections and I just want to motivate people. I really think anybody who teaches math this year, and almost, almost, let's just say by 2020, should have a drawing tablet. So you can make your instructional videos and make them rock, right? Make those things rock. So I'm getting that in a minute. What that is, it allows you to actually touch the pad like you're writing with a pencil. None of this trackpad mouse mess like that. So there you go. I'm ordering that. Look forward to that. Um, and so not only can you, you, um, you use it as a whiteboard, you can also go back to the video. I'll turn the whiteboard off. I'm like, nope, no more whiteboard. Boom. Back to me. You can see the math on me. Look at the math all over me. Um, you can also add pictures. So this is a great way to have like a, a prop, a picture you could talk about. It could be like a note. It could be a PDF. I mean, well, not a PDF. It could be an image of a PDF. Um, it could be like a talking point, whatever it is. You can upload anything. All right. And then, of course, you got the record button. What I did earlier, I tested this out. You hit record. You can record for like five seconds. Say, all right, guys, this is Brian Buffington. I'm going to show you something cool. And then hit stop or pause and then get your stuff ready because nobody wants to watch you do that. And then you know, go into the next section. It's pretty cool. All right. Um, so that's shorts. And what it does is after you record something, I'll get out of here. Let me get out of here because I'll go to the one I already made. Get out, Brian. This is the one I made earlier. Come on, baby. There it is. And look at all the, like the, the cool stuff you get. You get like, you're, they already made a QR code for you. And for my littles who, who have, you know, their typing abilities is not that great. They just, you know, you can take that print out, they can scan it. They can go wherever, you know, especially teachers giving their students instructions. I'm really big on that video instructions. You also have, uh, quick access to send this out on your website and embed code, maybe your Google site, uh, Microsoft Teams, Google Classroom, Remind, and then you can just save it. You save it as a video file. 
guys, there you go. There's, 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 there's Flipgrid's brand new feature called Shorts. Check it out. What do you think? What do you think? Is this pretty cool? I mean, I don't know. I might try it. I already used new Screencastify, but I might try this because it has some of those neat little features. Um, you, you can't do a filter on Screencastify. But different, different thing. You can't record your screen with this either. All right, guys. Have fun. Bye.